How much should you charge for a PLR product? Once you've bought the private label rights license for a product, it falls to you to decide how you want to go about marketing it, pricing it, and even presenting it in order to best appeal to your target audience. For all intents and purposes, this is now every bit your product, and entirely yours to decide how you want to go about selling. So if it's not selling as it should, it's likely something that you can fix by simply tweaking a few variables. Among the most important of these is price. But what is a good price for an ebook or a course? Were you selling a physical product as a reseller, then you might use a pricing strategy called keystone pricing. This means that you charge twice the amount you pay for it when buying it from wholesalers. While this is fairly standard, it only works if each individual unit has a cost associated with it. If you're selling a digital product, on the other hand, you'll only pay once and have the ability to make unlimited sales from that point onward. But you can still think in terms of profit margin. One question to ask is how many sales you are willing to make before you reach break-even. Break-even is the point at which your revenue meets your initial expense, so that you're in profit with each subsequent sale. So, if you spent $100 on a PLR product and then sold it for $20, you would need to sell 5 to reach break-even. How long will this take? And how does that fit with your cash flow? How many units can you realistically expect to shift, and how quickly? Another consideration is the amount of value that you're offering your buyers. It's very important that your book or course appears to offer value for money, but in reality, your buyers won't know for sure until they actually own it and can start reading it. If your book fails to deliver the kind of value that it should, then they will be incensed and potentially demand a refund. At the very least, they will be highly unlikely to order from you in the future. This is why it can often be a good idea to add value to your PLR product by introducing more content, etc. Eventually, this would allow you to charge a large amount and still feel confident that you are delivering value. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.